I really love a flower filled and free flowing garden. But to make those elements really shine, you need some structure. And you do that with topiary. Now, this can look a little bit complicated, but it's really simple, and I'll show you how. The king of topiary has to be the buxus. You can buy it in almost any shape. You can get cones, standards. The most common are these balls, and they are very, very expensive. You can also buy it just like this. It's less expensive, but you get less impact. It doesn't take much work, though, to prune it back and to start to create these shapes yourself. You need a really sharp pair of secateurs because you don't want to gnash any of the cuts, and you really want to just start bringing it back in to give you a rounded shape. I'm being really harsh with this. You can tell I'm taking off quite a lot. But what we're trying to do is promote new growth that's really dense in habit. So we need to cut it back, and then you let it grow out over the seasons, making sure you continually prune. Now, that looks a little bit different already. I've reduced it by quite a lot. Don't be scared to take this sort of amount off. You're just going to promote new growth, which is going to give you a denser ball. Once that big structure's gone, though, you just want to snip around the edges to start to work out some sort of ball shape. And if you squint, like really squint, you can see the beginnings of a ball like this occurring. This isn't a set and forget type thing. You do need to come back and keep clipping it as much as you possibly can, actually. The more you clip it, the denser your ball's going to be. And you'll be surprised in a couple of years, you'll be looking at something like this. Another great plant for topiary is the Eliagnus. Now, you'll see this all through my garden. I love it because it's incredibly fast growing. But it also has these amazing copper-colored stems and bronze leaves, so you can get a nice contemporary look in your garden. This plant already had that hard haircut that I gave the last buxus, and it's reshot again. But when you come to prune it, you don't want to take it all off back to where it was before. But again, you don't want to leave it too long. So I'm going to bring it back into about here. And within about six or seven years, which sounds like a lot, but you'll get something amazing like the ones behind us. The thing I really love about topiary is you can keep it at whatever size you like. You can have small or large. When you are pruning them, though, you almost rest your shears on top and just lots of short, sharp motions to maintain your shape. If you're doing balls or tippies, to get down low so you can see the bottom side of the curve as well, and that will maintain a really nice shape. You can do anything you want. Small balls, large balls, squares, cones. You can even do clouds like this. It really is up to your imagination. But just remember, have some fun with it.